Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I really, really hope that you are staying safe and that you're taking care of your mental health and well-being. I am struggling so much to film this video without stumbling over my words, so I'm just going to jump right on into it. I had two different goals for today's video, and the first is that I wanted to do a video where I could donate all of the ad revenue to an organization that is supporting the black community. I want to be able to donate more than I already have, get y'all involved, and... I want to use my platform responsibly to be able to clearly, loudly state, I believe black lives matter. I don't think it should be a controversial political statement. Every single life will not matter until black lives matter to everyone. I want to be an ally and I truly believe that every single person has the power to make a difference. So what you can do, I'm going to have in my description box a bunch of resources for you. There's going to be places you can donate, places you can learn from, and petitions that you can sign. There's also going to be the link to register to vote. If you are not voting, you need to be. Voting is not something that should be done just once every four years when the presidential election comes around. You need to be voting for the people in your community, in your city, in your state, because those are all positions of power that matter. So please, if you are not voting, if you think your vote doesn't count, it does. I literally just went and voted today. Also, representation matters, and if you're watching this, you probably consume a lot of beauty content. So this is the smallest thing you could possibly do, but when you see brands either come out with or already have existing foundation or just shade ranges in general that are terrible, say something. When you see brands never post black people or always post swatches on someone with white skin, when you see brands never collaborate or sponsor or send PR or have any relations at all with people of color, say something. You as a consumer, as a customer, have a voice. There's a comment section. There's an email address for a reason. Also, just to let you know, the organization that I'm donating to is the Black Visions Collective. It is a black, trans, and queer-helmed organization in Minnesota. Black Visions Collective has been working to pursue our commitment to dismantling systems of oppression and violence since 2017. Right now, that means delivering supplies and support on the ground. That's what this video is donating to, and I will link their page down below. So, the second goal for this video was to take a moment to upload lift and talk about some amazing indie makeup brands that are black owned businesses. I went through my collection and picked out a bunch of my favorite products from some of my favorite black owned brands. A lot of them I talked about in the past, but I still want to share them today and just give them their own moment. So without any further ado, let's jump on into the makeup. So let's go ahead and start off with some lip products. First, I have Kalon Cosmetics, and this is one of my favorite lipsticks ever. This is their lip creme in the shade Creme Brulee. And honestly, it is so, so good. They have a variety of shades. They have like some red, some pink, but I personally am always here for a good nude. I wish that they actually would expand this line and have more nudes because it's such a good formula. This is actually what I'm wearing on my lips now. And it's just one of those lipsticks that has like that really beautiful, glossy look to it. I don't have any lip gloss on or anything. It is just this. Kalon Cosmetics is a really cool indie brand. They do a lot of charity work. Every interaction that I've had with the owner, Jalita, she has been so, so beyond kind. So I love Kalon Cosmetics and I do have a full review of their products, like a full face that I can link right here in case you want to learn more about them. And then I also wanted to go ahead and talk about a new indie brand that I feel is killing it. And this would be Propa Beauty. I am going to go more in depth on them soon. I'm going to talk I'm going to do a full video. So here's the story. <laughs> I actually was going to do a lip swatch video like two weeks ago and my original order, I ordered four of their lipsticks. It got lost in the mail for several days. It took a lot longer to get to me than I expected. And when I talked about buying their lipsticks, they reached out to me and asked me if they could send me the rest. So then I was like, well, if they're sending the rest and it's on its way, then I may as well wait and do all the lipsticks together in one video. So I have all of their lipsticks here. Like, I'm going to do a whole video, lip swatching, reviewing, talking about the brand and everything very, very soon on those in case you're interested to hear more. But today I thought I'd go ahead and talk about the shade that I'm enjoying the most right now. And this is the shade Finesse. I think this is the lightest shade in the line. I haven't worn all of them yet. It's a really beautiful warm nude. I've been so obsessed with light brown lipsticks recently, so this color is just right up my alley and it's super comfortable on the lips. 
very pigmented, very creamy. I've been so impressed with Prop of Beauty from the moment I first saw their Instagram. They just have a beautiful aesthetic and it is very obvious that their brand is made for deeper skin tones and I just think it's so beautiful to have a nude lipstick line that is all specifically geared towards deep skin tones because so many lines aren't and it seems like that's an afterthought like oh let's throw in like three deep shades that might fit a deeper skin tone but we're not even gonna test them kind of thing so I just really was drawn into the why behind their brand they've also been donating uh, I believe 50% of their proceeds to different organizations. I'm not sure if they still are when this video goes up, but I definitely appreciate that. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about Juvia's Place for a moment. I do have a lot of things that I love from them, but I decided to bring it down to specifically two products, even though I've talked about those two products quite a lot, so you might not be surprised at all when I mention them again. But first, oh gosh, okay, first I dropped it. This is the Juvia's Place Stick Foundation, and I love the stick foundation so much. I have the three lightest shades here, which are Tokyo, Aberdeen, and Nicaragua. I just love the finish of this. I feel like it blends so beautifully. It looks so glowy on the skin. The longer I wear it, the more beautiful it looks, I feel. Like, I mean, I've got a lot of glow going on, so I can't specifically say that it is this foundation, but I just feel like it's one of the best stick foundations. It's super affordable. I also love the packaging on these just because it's so bright. I feel like my foundation drawer, when I look into it, there's a lot of like glass, there's black, there's gold, there's neutrals, but then there's like this bright coral foundation, and I don't know, I just really, really like that it's a pop of color. So really, really love that. Highly recommend if you have dry skin. And then the other thing I wanted to mention, again, probably not a surprise at all, is the Tribe palette, which is my favorite palette from Juvia's Place. I have the shade Coral right here on my inner corner today for like a little pop of green duochrome. I just love this palette so much. It has such fun greens. It has such fun grungy shades. I feel like you could kind of do a neutral look or you could go totally green with it. And it's just really, really high quality. Very unique shades in here as well. And they've come out with quite a few palettes since this one, but nothing seems to top it. It's just such a good palette. I really hope they do more greens in the future. If you have been looking into this, I highly recommend it. I believe I saw it on Ulta recently for like $12 and it is such a steal. So I love, love, love that palette. All right, now I want to talk about Beauty Bakery Cosmetics and I've tried just a few things here and there from them but my favorite product is actually one that I feel is pretty underrated I rarely hear people talk about it and this is their milk and honey highlighter palette not gonna lie I bought it because it is so dang cute I mean it's got like a little honeycombs and it's just adorable I grabbed this because I was wanting to try beauty bakery for the first time and I think I got like two lip products and their setting powder can't remember what else. That might have been it, but I was just drawn to this and I thought, hey, what the heck, I can probably use these two shades. But as it turns out, I can use this shade Be Sweet as well. It is such a beautiful, soft, peachy highlight. I love it so much. Today I actually have Be Sweet and Spoiler Alert mixed. I wore Be Sweet a little bit more lower on the cheekbones and then I topped it with Spoiler Alert and then I have something else over it, which I'll mention in just a minute. But I feel like if you like the kind of highlighter that just looks really smooth and it's just a very soft, beautiful glow on the skin. I would highly recommend this. There's all of the shades in that palette and they just look so beautiful on the skin. I really should be giving them more praise because I use it quite a bit, but I don't even know if I've ever mentioned it in a favorites video or anything like that before, but it's so, so beautiful. All right, next let's go ahead and talk about Danessa Myrick's Beauty, which is such a beautiful, glowy brand. Like, I feel like everything they do is kind of glowy and glow-related, and just their entire aesthetic is beautiful. They're a brand I've wanted to try for a really long time. I finally took the plunge, bought a bunch of products, and overall I've been pretty impressed by everything. I have a full face of Danessa Myrick's video coming soon, which will have all the products, but for now I just wanted to mention my two favorites. The first one I'm not gonna take too much time on because it is their Prism FX Hydrating Lotion, which I just mentioned super recently in my May favorites. I've been using this every day. I'm wearing it now, which again contributes to the all over glow, especially I feel like on my forehead because I don't have any other 
regular glowy product or highlighter up there but you can see the glow through the foundation and it is just so beautiful there is actually this shade which is kind of a white with like a pink iridescence to it and then there's also a peach shade in the same formula if you do have a deeper skin tone i've heard that danessa personally mixes this in with foundations i haven't tried it like that yet just because i wear stick foundation so often that i just prefer to use it as a primer on its own but it is a really really beautiful glowy formula so i've been obsessed with that and then another favorite which took me a little while to try i'm not gonna lie because i was scared of it is the all over dew balm and i have the shade clear so here's what it looks like it's very cool it's just a clear balm and you can see right through to the pan i kept telling myself for literally two weeks to use this because every time i'd finish my makeup and then i'm like oh i should try that and then i'm like but i don't want to mess up my makeup what if it's not good so i just kept not using it but finally I rounded up the courage and I tried this product and it is beautiful. So the way that I use this is if I have powder products on my cheeks, I like to kind of just dip my fingers in and then just softly press this balm over the powder products that are on my cheeks. And I feel like that's what I did today. It completely takes away any powder effect that there is at all and it looks so wet and glowy on the skin. I think if you use this where there's already cream products and you don't have powder products down it does it's not as magical it's just an like barely there highlighter but if you have another highlighter already laid down and you put this on top it's like it just completely transforms the texture and it looks so beautiful i especially really like it on my nose just because my nose is like my driest part of my face it gets flaky it does leave a little bit of a sticky residue to it like if i feel my cheek there's a little bit of stickiness to it, which I know is not everyone's favorite, but if I were to compare it, the closest thing it kind of reminds me of is the Kevin Aquan Glass Glow Face. I feel like the appearance of these two are very similar, but the Kevin Aquan is so much more liquidy. It does not set down at all. I feel like this one sets down a little bit. Or if you're someone who has a ton of powder cheek products and you're getting into cream, I think that this could be a really great way to keep using all those powders but still kind of get like a cream effect without having to buy a bunch of cream products in every single color. So love, love, love that. And then next I wanted to go ahead and I know, I know I can't stop talking about it, but the Colored Rain Safari Rain, I've been using this so much recently and it is just such a beautiful palette today. I'm just wearing one shade, but that is Matriarch, the kind of cool tone brown, and I have that on my outer V just super, super lightly, and then I dusted it into my crease just for a little bit of matte definition, and overall, I just feel like the quality of this palette is so phenomenal, it's crazy. Like, I don't know, it makes other palettes seem so subpar because it is such a good quality palette. The metallics are stunning, the mattes are so, so pigmented, and so easy to blend as well. I feel like sometimes when you get super pigmented shadows, you have to really sit there and work with them. But these are so easy to use and they're so impactful. I just love this palette so, so much. Okay, last but not least, I wanted to talk about one of my favorite, favorite, favorite indie brands. And that would be JD Glow Cosmetics. So I went ahead and put this little palette together here because these are the newer shades I recently bought from JD Glow Cosmetics. And I can't remember... I think two of these are super new releases, but either way, I bought all of them in the same order. I have a full video on JD Glow Cosmetics that I can link right here in my collection where I go through and swatch and talk about everything. There are highlighters, a bunch of shadows, and their products are just so beautiful, especially the shade Prismatic. Like, please take my word for it and buy. Sorry, I don't, I try not to pressure people to buy things. So I'm going to take that back. Don't buy it if you don't like the color or if you can't buy it or anything right now. But it is one of the most beautiful eyeshadows ever. It's in my top 10 favorite single shadows. I just love their quality. They make beautiful eyeshadows and they are a black owned smaller indie brand. I feel like some of the ones I've talked about today are a little bit bigger. But JD Glow Cosmetics definitely, definitely deserves more hype. I can't wait to see them grow more and more and more. I thought I would go ahead and swatch these shades with you really quickly just because they're so beautiful we could ooh and all together and like I said they are newer so I haven't mentioned them yet on my channel 
and I thought it would be just a good addition to looking at my other collection video in case you were curious to learn more about them. So this shade right here is called Reserved and it's kind of like a pinky champagne shade. This could be nice to someone who is a little bit more of a neutral lover. I have this color along my lower lash line and it's really beautiful. Yeah, definitely a pinky champagne. I could see neutral lovers loving this color. Look at that. The pigment, the shine, incredible. And then next we have the shade Lavender. I have that on the middle of my lid today and it's just a really beautiful stunning metallic purple. So, so rich and creamy and beautiful. And then next we have the shade Roulette, which is more of like a silvery shade, but it has just the tiniest pinch of purple to it. Again, so beautiful. If you're a neutral lover, you might really like this one. I have this one on like the inner corner of my eye today. And like I said, you can't see the purple that much, but it is beautiful. Nonetheless, it's such a pretty cool tone shade. All right, next is the shade Varsity, which is a really beautiful soft blue. Oh my gosh, look at that. Next we have the shade Nonchalant, which is a beautiful, soft kind of pastel green. I don't know if I held that up for very long, but it's super pretty. And then last but not least is the shade Watermark, which is a galaxy shadow I've been wanting for a while, but I didn't want to place an order just for one shade, so I've been waiting it out, and finally when I went to make an order and it was in stock, I was so happy because I love their galaxy shadows. Oh man, that is so beautiful and sparkly and multidimensional. So I feel like overall these are more cool tone shade, but you can just see how high and amazing their quality is. So, so beautiful. All right, so those are all the products I wanted to mention today. Definitely make sure to check out all the resources in my description box, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.